Hello everyone. In the previous video, we spoke about how to get the lowercase representation of a string using the lower method and how to get the uppercase representation of a string using the upper method. In this video, we're going to use the isLower method and the isUpper method to check if a string is a lowercase or is composed of lowercases or uppercases. Now, um, I'm just going to have a separator there. So I print and separate all of this. And I'm going to also have this line be at the end because this is what we want to ask the user after we've done all the work. So um, I just wanted to show you that here we are having a returned value that is sort of lost. Okay. So at that moment of time, it's going to print the lowercase representation of entry. But the value of, of entry still remains as is. So if I actually um, print this in between these two lines, you'll notice that they don't really change. So if I said t um, test with two capital letters and two small letters, and I press enter, this is the value of test, fine. This is it, converted to a lowercase. But this value is being returned within the print statement, it is not captured. So the original value of entry still remains as it is. And the same thing here. Okay, and you'll see that even after um, using the uppercase, it's still equal to what it was initially. So if you wanted to actually change the value of entry such that it remains with lower cases or upper cases, what you need to do is um, you actually need to um, assign a new value of entry uh, is equal to entry dot, for example, lower. So let's go with that. Let's run this again. Uh, let's stop this first and then run this again. So now if I say uh, I've got a string that's got two capital letters and two small letters, you'll notice that um, the value here now is just always a smaller, um, a small letter or a, um, a lowercase uh, string composed of lowercase letters. Okay, so let's just keep that in mind here. What we've, what we've done is this returned value is being actually captured back into the same variable. All right. So um, what we want to do now is we want to check if this is a, a lowercase um, a lowercase string or a string that is composed of only lower cases. So is it a lower case string? Uh, it's a question. Okay. So now what we can do is using that string and now I'll say is lower. This is going to give either true or false, depending on whether or not this was a, a lowercase string. Okay, so T E S T. So here, now that we've actually converted this to a lowercase, so it gave me true. And we can ask the question again here, but this time we are checking if this is an upper an uppercase using the is upper. So just the word here is different. Okay, so uh, I might want to make this slightly smaller. And uh, I'm going to press enter so we can terminate this instead of interrupting the program. So now let's give this another run. So T E S T. So this is going to give me false here. Okay, so the value of entry now is converted to a lowercase. Is it a lowercase string? True. But is it an uppercase? False. So now what we're going to do is we are going to do, we are going to turn these around, have this return false and that return true. So I'm going to copy these lines from 7 to 11 and then I'm going to paste them. Make sure indentation is all fixed. Otherwise we're going to run into problems. Okay. So now instead of Converting this to a lower case. Now I'm going to use the upper. So this, the value of entry is now rewritten and has got a um, an upper case, or sorry, the uh, entry is now assigned a new uh, string, which is itself converted to um, the letters of the string converted all to uppercase letters. So yes, everything else remains the same. So let's give this one a new run, and maybe we'll have a new line there just a separator. 
and slightly make these a bit shorter because I think yeah. so let's um, give this a new string terminate the program sorry an empty string and terminate the program and I have a problem there with my indentation and let's give it another run it's happy now so now if I say T E S T so it's just the other way around you see now it's just um, this is a lowercase but now it's become an uppercase because of line 13 and this gives us false that it's not a lowercase but it's a true that it is actually an uppercase value so you can test it with um, with further um, entries so true and then here yeah, it's pretty much going to just keep on doing the same so you can test this multiple times I'm pressing enter uh, with an empty string and so this makes our condition here false and it's going to step out of the while loop and tell us thank you and uh, I would like to thank you for watching the video and I hope this helped you and stay tuned for more videos